Hey, welcome to or welcome back to Temple of Sunshine on YouTube and templeofsunshine.com. Today I come to you completely barefaced, completely with no makeup on, because we're going to be talking about how to manifest clear skin. Absolutely. Now, when I zoomed in on my face there, you might not have believed that I have clear skin because to me, if you're as meticulous as I am, clear skin means all of this would be gone, like these sort of spots and like the scarring. However, I just want to say to you that this skin that you see here today with no makeup is so different from skin I used to have before. I used to have a lot of acne and it's clearly something that, you know, is still sort of present. It's not really acne anymore. It's just a few spots here and there. Acne to me, and I don't know what about the medical sort of diagnosis of it is, but to me, it's when it keeps coming up in larger patches. So I still get spots in my hairline. I just want to show you and be really candid, okay? Still get spots on my hairline. Uh, my forehead's pretty much clear. Um, like I said, hairline. I had a spot here maybe a week ago, and what's happened with that is... Um, because I have darker skin, I have quite bad hyperpigmentation. So a spot, even if I don't touch it, squeeze it, nothing, it leaves a mark. Um, I get a few on my chin, um, just above the lip. But other than that, this is very, 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 very clear skin for me. And I'm going to show you a video of what my skin used to look like um, when we get past this intro. But I don't want to waste more time. Let's get into this video. Let's learn how to manifest that clear skin. <laughs> So what's really bugging me right now before we move in is my roots. We're in lockdown number three in the UK and I can't get my roots done so I can't stop looking at them. Um, it's just really bugging me. But anyway, let's let's get into it. So clear skin, like I just gave you a disclaimer that this skin to me is clear in comparison to what I used to experience. I'm just going to show you a very short clip of when I was in Venice in 2018 with my friend and I bought these new earrings and I took a video of the earrings. And that's why the video is not really focused on my skin, it's focused on the earrings. But a few months ago I looked at this video and I realised that my skin has come such a long way. And it didn't take two years uh, or three years because we're in 2021 now, but it didn't take that long. But it really shocked me how much my skin has changed and how happy I am with the skin I have today. Um, I used to really always struggle with skin problems. I've had acne since the age of 12. It was diagnosed by the dermatologist. I've been through everything, guys. I've been through all the creams, all the very expensive skincare products. I've been through all the facial washes from sort of lower end to higher end. I've honestly done everything I can and throughout my teenage years my acne was blazing and it would go and come back. When I say go it never like left me with clear skin. Um, so I'm just going to put the video up now so that I can give you a reference. So you see how there's a lot more redness and I know some of you are going to say that's not even bad acne but to me that was when my acne was really getting bad. I was um, in my early 20s and it was getting bad. Um, it has been so much worse before. I wish I could find like proper high quality videos or pictures of when my acne was really bad. Like huge spots um, and lots of them all over. And once again, I just want to say that my acne has never been as bad as some of the acne I've seen out there. So I completely get your struggle. But what I'm trying to tell you with this video is that it can be changed. It can be manifested to have clear skin without all these products and pills, etc. I know a lot of my friends went on Roaccutane and they saw great results. But Roaccutane caused them so many other terrible side effects all the way up to being suicidal and at that point to me in my opinion it wasn't worth trying Roaccutane it was the last step that my doctor was recommending me because nothing the doctors had prescribed since the age of 12 to 21 had worked honestly except one thing and it was a contraceptive pill called Dianet and it cleared up my skin amazingly like my skin was flawless like Instagram filter foundation flawless but that caused me a lot of other side effects and I had to come off it and it was not good for me or my health. So after that pill, 
After that pill, I was about 17 years old, I decided that I just didn't need to take any more sort of medication or anything prescribed by the doctor anymore. I stopped focusing on my skin. Does that mean it got better? No. So that's not when I start to manifest clear skin. However, caring about it less and stop worrying about it less, stopping worrying about it less, definitely caused a big change. I started to learn the art of detachment. And detachment is key when manifesting anything, guys. I just want to tell you that if you take something away from this video, it is definitely the idea of detachment. You need to detach, and this is hard. I know you're not going to be happy with me saying this, but you need to care less about your skin. I understand that it is something that might preoccupy your thoughts. It might affect your social situations, or you might even think that whenever someone looks at you or talks to you, they're looking at your acne. But we'll delve into this point later. But it was the detachment that really helped. I was about 17. I came off this pill at around 17, 18. I don't remember the right timelines now. And um, <clears throat> that detachment really helped. I went to university and I really got into the gym um, and weightlifting. And I started to drink a lot of protein shakes around that time. And that made my acne so much worse. Like, I don't have pictures of my bare skin without makeup. Um, but it got so much worse. And it, got, it came back painful with a vengeance. So when did my acne really start to clear up? So you can see that video was 2018 we're now in 2021 february this is first february and you're seeing this so i used to film videos for temple of sunshine on instagram on my igtv go check that out if you're um, interested in checking those out and i started my first video with no makeup on whatsoever i know i wear makeup in my youtube videos just because i've been enjoying uh, putting on makeup a bit more after being in lockdown pretty much on and off for like almost a year um, I used to film completely with no makeup. I would just get my ring light up and film videos and put them on Instagram with no makeup. And this confidence came from having much clearer skin. That means throughout 2020 and 2019, I've definitely experienced what I would believe is clear skin. I'm much more confident about my skin. And that means the change happened pretty much within the space of those three years from 2018 to 2020. In the past, even in relationships, I would struggle to show my partner a sort of clear, sort of free of makeup face because I was just so shy about my acne. So how did I do it? So what I would like to tell you is that it was not a conscious thing where I would sit down and script or write affirmations for clear skin. However, I will tell you a traditional sort of changing your appearance format that you can follow step by step for manifesting clear skin this is what i did personally so remember i told you at 17 18 i detached from the whole idea of clear, having clear skin i was like, i'm not going to take any more um like medicated like prescribed things for my skin so from that moment on from 17 18 i decided that i didn't care anymore however my skin got so much worse and i would get really upset about it but that does not mean that i was waiting every single day staring at my skin waiting for it to get better even when things were really bad so what the key is here how i manifested clear skin or the skin i have today is that i stopped caring about it throughout the ages of 2018 maybe from that video onwards I really realized that the more attention I focused on it the worse it got it's like when you're trying to lose weight the more you remind yourself of how fat you are or how much weight you're holding and I put that in speech marks because it's probably your body dysmorphia making you feel that way and same with skin imagine you have skin dysmorphia it's probably that that's making it worse the more you tell people that I have acne I have acne the more you are manifesting that the more through the law of attraction you are attracting more acne because you're telling people it's my current situation and when you say something like i have or i am it's what you're attracting instead of saying i don't have acne you see the don't that's still a negative word so you're still focusing on the fact that there is acne you're still focusing on the acne so you see your attention is going towards the acne and this is where i really managed to manifest clear skin because i did didn't focus any attention on the acne I didn't give it the attention that it wants so what I would do is go about my day and my life 
just not worrying about my skin anymore. And I know that's difficult. So I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how you can manifest your clear skin without actually worrying. So I want you to start with a simple affirmation of I have clear skin. And I want you to repeat that to yourself constantly throughout the day when you can think about it. But I really want you to repeat that affirmation when you look at the mirror and you go to zoom in on your face and focus on the acne. You know, we all do it. Whenever we have an insecurity, we go up to the mirror and we just have a look, see how worse it's getting. I do it with my weight. So, you know, uh, I know what it feels like, but I would pretty much throughout those two to three years between 2018 to 2020, I would go up to the mirror and I wouldn't give my skin the attention. Um, like I wouldn't just go in, poke at it, like get upset over my spots. If I saw spots, I saw spots, right? But at this point, I want you to go up to the mirror and just say to yourself, I have clear skin. And it's going to feel like a straight up light. It's going to be like, no, I don't. And your brain's going to be like, are you OK? Like, did you just tell me I have clear skin when I can see that I don't? And this is the key of manifesting. It's belief. It's belief in the universe that what you've asked for will happen, even when there is absolutely every piece of evidence showing you that that it's not true. You need to lie to yourself. You need to lie to yourself constantly. You need to fake it till you make it. So I want you to now really feel into the idea of clear skin. So when you say to yourself, I have clear skin, think about what you imagine. For me, it's this. Like for me, of course, I would like these gone. But for me, this is clear skin for now. Now, if I say to myself, I want perfectly clear skin, then yeah, okay, the imperfections would have gone. But um, I want you to first things first, number one, step one, think about what is clear skin to you? Is it less acne? Is it completely, you know, no redness? Is it no bumps, no swelling? Think about it. I want you to then visualize having this. I want you to visualize once a day, usually before bed, um, if you can, in that sleepy state. Um, think about going up to the mirror or checking your front camera or accidentally, this is a nice one, accidentally opening your front camera or Snapchat or Instagram on the stories sort of um, camera and seeing your face and seeing clear skin seeing smooth, beautiful, clear skin, or whatever you just envisioned in step one, whatever you imagined as your criteria for clear skin in step one, see it on your face as first person. Going up to the mirror and being like, ooh, feel it. Feel what it feels like. How does your fingertips feel when you rub your skin? There's no bumps, it's smooth. Think about things like that, okay? Step three is, of course, the detachment. So step one, we decided what we wanted. What is our idea of clear skin? Step two, we visualize. Step three is now saying, I don't care if this doesn't happen. This is difficult. I know it's difficult because I have so many goals I want to manifest and they're usually around my business. They're usually around Temple of Sunshine and they're usually around my career. And I find it so hard to detach. I find it so hard to say, I don't care if this doesn't happen because I care so much and especially when it comes to our appearance we care and there's nothing shallow or wrong about that we all want to look beautiful we all want to feel good in our skin so what's wrong with that I know for you when I give you this advice saying stop caring it's difficult so for me I stopped caring because I was fed up I was at my wits end with my acne I was tired of trying to change something that just wasn't changing so for me I sort of learned detachment through being fed up but I don't want you to get to that situation where you're fed up I don't want you to be so exhausted and overwhelmed by your skin that you're just like I don't care I want you to be in a better mindset than I was so my suggestion is to remind yourself every single day once you do your affirmation of I have clear skin I want you to say and even if this doesn't happen I will be okay I will survive. I am still a beautiful person inside and out. I want you to remind yourself that even if that clear skin doesn't manifest, everything is still okay. Will my life change? No. Will I lose my job? No. Will I die? No. Will people love me any less? No. Right? I want you to remind yourself of that. And I want you to get on with your day knowing that even if things weren't to change, everything would be okay. But have trust and faith in the universe that it will happen. So what we're doing here is 
reminding ourselves that we're going to be just fine if this doesn't happen but at the same time you have faith that it's going to happen you're lying to yourself every day in the mirror because you're trying to create a quantum shift you're trying to remind yourself that it's absolutely possible in all the quantum possibilities in this universe that you will magically have clear skin without products without gels creams ointments okay it's possible and i want you to know that on the point of without gels creams and ointments I want to let you know that if you subconsciously believe that you cannot manifest clear skin without a product or something external like a facial or laser, I don't know, not laser, but like I once went to a salon where they offered me LED therapy for my redness. But basically, if you really truly have this entrenched belief that you cannot manifest clear skin or you can't clear your skin without a product, that is what you will be led to. So now what's going to happen is if you truly get in the right mindset of I trust that universe, I believe in the universe and I feel good um, this is what's going to happen so you're either going to be a led to a product or a process like for example facials or some sort of like program or skincare routine you're either going to be led to that uh, or you're going to just manifest clear skin but this this option will only happen if you truly believe that no product can change the makeup of your skin and that's what was happening to me i had tried every skincare product under the sun i had tried like gel creams as opposed to moisturizer i had tried serums i had bought really expensive like serums with all different oils and stuff to improve my acne and they sometimes work but they didn't cure the problem so i truly like in 2019 to 2020 especially believe that no product could help me. And during lockdown in March, 2020, all the way up to about June, my skin cleared up even more than it ever has because I was barely doing my skincare routine. I would go days without putting any sort of serum or toner on my face. I would just simply wash it with water sometimes. I actually manifested even better skin than my clear skin in 2019. And it cleared up completely. Like I had really good skin last year because I always believe that I, it was a true belief system that I did not have any product in the world that could help me clear my skin. It was something that my skin was just going to sort out one day. And that's what happened for me. That's literally what worked out. But if you're someone who is a firm non-believer in something like that, and you really believe that it's going to be a product, you will be led to a product. It will either come up on your uh, social media feeds or a friend will tell you about it or you'll see a recommendation, you might see it in a store and be really drawn to it. I'm telling you, you'll be led to the product or the process or the skincare routine, whatever. You'll be led to it or the face mask, you know, you get I just want to give you a few extra tips on manifesting clear skin that aren't just detached from the outcome because I know that's difficult. Um, if you can be grateful for the skin you have today, be, just be thankful that you have skin and it's on you and it protects you our skin is so much more um than just an aesthetic thing or a beauty thing our skin is actually our first layer of defense against bacteria and viruses trying to in not probably not viruses but essentially bacteria and harmful things trying to get through so our seven layers of skin that keep renewing um, are actually there as our first line of defense and that's why when skin is broken and stuff we need to make sure it doesn't get infected because then infection can come through that wound right so our skin really does so much more than just make us look good so I want you to remind yourself of the importance of your skin I want you to be thankful that your skin renews every however many days the fact that you have seven layers of skin that are working and functional I want you to be thankful for the fact that you have the skin you have be thankful for that in the first place if you can't be thankful for your skin then slowly slowly when you're getting more and more into your thankfulness combine it with your affirmation of i have clear skin and really get into the feeling of how you'd feel if you woke up one day and you just had clear skin so i want you to pause this video and have a good think about how would it feel to have clear skin would it feel exciting would it feel invigorating would you feel really good about yourself you know would you keep looking at the mirror and being like oh my god like i feel really good think about it and when you visualize add that feeling so remember i think we spoke about step number two being visualization add that feeling that we've just talked about and when you do your affirmation be like Thank you, thank you, thank you, universe, for my clear skin. And really embody those feelings that you would get if you had clear skin. 
I just want to say that if you are not seeing results in like a day or two or even like four or five months, I don't want you to give up on everything I've told you. Always keep trying to manifest this because most likely the reason why you've not manifested is because you've not detached from the outcome. So where you've defined what you wanted, you're visualizing, you're doing your affirmation, you're feeling the feelings of like having clear skin and you're feeling good about yourself. I don't want you to give up if it gets to a few months and you're like, this isn't working. I still have like loads of acne or I still have lots of skin problems. I don't want you to be like, I'm giving up. I'm going to stop because you should still continue that visualization and that positive mindset around your skin and that gratitude and just being thankful for your skin because it's a good thing to practice regardless. And even when it's taking a long time, I keep going because I'm showing the universe that I'm persevering with what I want. I hope you found the tips and tricks and obviously my own journey that I shared with you around my skin helpful today. If you have any questions, which I understand you might do because this is such a strange topic of um, changing your appearance with the law of attraction, please drop a comment below or please DM me on any of my socials and I'll get right back to you about it. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Please share with a friend because sharing positive content is definitely putting out good karma and helping a friend or helping a loved one is one of the best ways that we can show love and gratitude for them in our lives. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. If you do get results from this video, please, please comment below and share your skincare or skin um, improvement journey with us. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye.